Hey, good day, you lovely people. Today we're going to be talking about the basic tools you're going to need to decorate your home. Now remember, if you like anything you see or you feel anything's been useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. All the products are in the description below, so you don't need to write anything down. I'm not paid or sponsored by anyone, and all of my opinions are of my own. Right, let's get to it. First thing, PPE, personal protection equipment. If you're doing a big job, get some decoration trousers. They come with built-in knee pads and have lots of pockets. Personally, I have a knife in my pocket here. I've got my painter's knife, it's a whole foot of painter's knife. It's got blade, screwdriver at the tip, tin opener. Makes it easy to open up the tins in a sheath, fantastic. Screwdriver, I use all the time for doing undoing electrical sockets. Multi-tool, breaking out cracks, cleaning off the rollers, doing a bit of scraping if I need to. Next, always carry a pencil, that goes in the side pocket as well. Mask, good plastic seal, rubber seal. Make sure you don't bring any dust in. Glasses, if you don't wear glasses, don't want any splashes from the paint when you paint the ceilings. Hammer, I like this hammer, single piece, claw hammer, fantastic. Screwdriver, it's a ratchet screwdriver, clockwise, anti-clockwise, multi-pieces in the back, posies, phillips, crossheads. Blades, Ulfa, scraper blades, really good blades. Get some spares, same as the knife, Ulfa, Pick. snap off. Really good, get some spares. Window scraper, that's dangerous bit sorted. Next, we're going into masking. Masking tape, I use a big masking tape like this for the floors, I use small masking tape like this for the electrical sockets. Brown paper, really good. Masking machine, if you've got big houses, lots to cover up, it's worth getting one of these. Pull, tear, done. Quick demo, there you go. <coughs> Pulls off. <clears throat> Anything you want to decorate now, you need to clean first. If you've got mold killer, if you've got mold, clean the woodwork, sugar soap, clean the walls. Filler, lots of fillers for small amounts of woodwork. For large amounts, this dry quickly. This is two pack, this is one of my favorites, Bond of Decafill. For small repairs, you can use ready mix filler, like this one, really good filler. For larger repairs and cracks, Two pre TX110. When you've got cracks, use scrim tape first. Cracks won't come back. Filling blades, these are my personal favourites. I like these. 15 centimetre, 25 centimetre. We we'll talk about this in filling when I'm doing the filling. But if you don't want to get those, if you've got lots of cracks, get a cool cut. Small house, just get a cool cut. These are great. Dusting brush, really essential. Sandpaper. Small house, big house. Got lots of rubbing down to do, get one of these. Cool, do the same job. Lots of sandpaper to talk about. Basically 120, that's what I use more than anything else. Rollers. Lamb's wool, sheepskin, same thing. These are the best rollers you're gonna get. Get one of these. Double arm, gives you a better finish. And it's also a lot wider for a bigger house. If you don't want to use those, you can use the concept rollers. These are really good. This is a brand new Worcester. If you get a brand new one, make sure you wash it out first because you will get a fluff in the roller. Long arms. Small long arm, big long arm. They do extend. Small house, big house. Paint brushes. Again, lots to talk about paint brushes, but we haven't got time. Basically, good cutting in brush for the walls, ceilings, long arm, Makes it a lot easier. Sash brush, wood brush. This is a Stale Master, it's a quality brush. This is a Worcester Pelican. It's got liners. Makes it very easy to clean out or throw away the liners. Scuttles. This is a scuttle. It carries a good five litres of tin of paint. Plastic liners, you just throw away afterwards. If you've got an old tin of paint, get a sieve. Get one of these or choose one in the kitchen, don't tell your mum. Next, ladders. Get quality ladders. We want to minimise the risk of any accidents. Basic rule of thumb, the duller the aluminium, the better the quality of the ladder. The shiny the aluminium, not such good quality, but price will tell. Get it from a rental place, 
quality ladders are essential. Last thing, dust sheets. This is a plastic back dust sheet. Just put this on the ground, spin paint on it, plastic back, won't go through to the carpet. Well, I think we've covered all the tools now. See you next time.